Good afternoon. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. It's finally cooling down. And this is Patsy's kids. They are running around like crazy. We got a sprinkle a few minutes ago and we we're supposed to have high winds and thunderstorms. So I thought I'd get these guys out here tonight and get you a video. I know they're close to going home. Uh, but they're too big to sit and do photos. They won't hold still for me anymore to sit on a table and let you shoot that type of photo. So we decided to put them out here in the yard and let you watch them. They are busy. They are very social. They love everybody. They're happy, roly-poly, fat little fuzzballs. These guys are, uh, excuse me, I jerked that with my arm. It's, I got a fly on my arm. Um, they have had their first set of shots. They've had uh, four wormings. Almost four wings. I have to look. I have to look at the chart. I don't want to tell you four yet, but they'll have four before they go home. Uh, they've had a bath every week, and they went to the vet yesterday and was spayed and neutered. So you can tell they're no worse for the wear, that's for sure. People always feel bad. They'll call me and say, oh, did they make it through surgery? Yeah, you can tell it really doesn't bother them. They play like little banshees afterwards. Uh, nobody had any issues, nobody had retained testicles, nobody had a hernia, so it was a great day at the vet. Um, what else can I throw at you? When you get these guys at home, please do not let them have the run of your house and spend all day out in your living room floor or with you, following you around the house. If you're going to crate train them, they need to spend 50% of their time in the crate. So if you have them out for an hour and a half, Put them in the crate to sleep if they want to take a nap on the floor put them in the crate to take the nap um, i've already heard from a couple people who said they did great the first week they felt guilty they let them out of the crate in the afternoon and they started potting all over their house so if you don't want your house to become the public toilet please put them in the crate when you're not physically touching them talking to them interacting with them playing with them Put them in the crate. Also, they can get into so much trouble. Oh, there we go. Tail is always an easy thing to get a hold of and uh, sling the other person down. But the big thing is don't treat them like a baby. These are like four piranha on four little feet. They're very smart. I want to make a bumper sticker that says, My schnoodle is smarter than your first grader. Um, I have seen things out of these puppies that amaze me with the brain and the intelligence that they have and the cognitive thinking that they have when they look at something and figure it out. So treat them like a dog, don't treat them like a child and you'll have so much better outcome of your puppy training. But uh, do enjoy them, they're super fun. You can stop the nipping the first two days you have this puppy home. We do not allow them to touch our hands, arms, toes, if we have flip-flops. Nobody touches us with their teeth. I take the back of my hand, I crack them in the nose when they bite me, or when they used to bite me, and I tell them no bite, very sternly. And it's not a, a warn you, no bite, no bite. You don't keep warning them. It's one time you tell them and then pop them in the nose. Um, if you don't, you will have problems with biting because biting is how they establish their dominancy within your household. So do not let them chew on your children. Um, golly, they have been feeding, eating free choice. If we are shipping your puppy to you, it's very important to know on the top of your crate will be your total complete health card, your spay neuter sheet, and your microchip information along with a little bag of food. So that is, hopefully will take care of some of your uh, worries about that. Also, if you're picking up at the airport, I highly recommend that you take a small trash bag, clean newspaper, some wet wipes, and some paper towels. That way, if your puppy has had an accident in the crate, you can take it out, throw it in your trash bag, wipe their feet off if you need to with a wet wipe, or wipe the paper towels on their feet, whichever you prefer. And you can put the clean newspaper in the crate and travel home with the puppy in your crate. So, other than that, I'm at the end of my five minutes. 
I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've had a great time raising these little guys. They've been great for us. They know no bark, no bite, and no lick. Those are the commands they have been taught while they're here. So if you have any questions, please give me a call. I don't mind whatsoever. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see many of you soon.